All right, so here we go early round one. Her goals extend well beyond just winning this UFC Strawweight Championship. That's what she was able to accomplish earlier this year. Now the focus on defending the belt against this top contender. She believes she is the best 115-pound fighter of all time. And in order to live up to the hype and the expectations that she has set for herself, she's got to defend the belt. First title defense here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Calvillo going for the takedown, but unable to land. Oh, look at her connecting with yet another uppercut there. She has found her rhythm. She has found her flow state. And defensively, the other fighter's going to have to adjust or this fight's going to end soon. She's got to stop anticipating straight because she is splitting her guard every time with the uppercut, whether from the right side or on the left side. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, dude? Just out of range with the big right hand. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Oh, she put everything into that leg. She threw her entire body into that kick, and you see the damage that is causing her pain. Nice great punch. Continues to mix it up. defending herself, and the opponent was doing some real damage. It became a dangerous situation. I think it's the right call by the official, and she will live to fight another day. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds in the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC strongweight champion of the world. Yeah! Well, the celebration is officially on in the corner for the UFC's undisputed women's strawweight champion. She defends her title with style points tonight as she gets the knockout victory over the number one contender. And Joe, what a moment for this fighter. Dealt with a lot of